23rd is training close. This is how many nights of Columbus Halls look throughout the Brooklyn Diocese. Photos along the walls capture memories, plaques, enshrine past generations. Look at opportunities to give back to those who are less fortunate than you are. The Catholic organization is renowned for its charitable work around the world, but the fraternity is struggling for new members. There's not as many men in church. And if the men aren't in church, they're not coming to tonight's Columbus. James Bonaro oversees five councils in Queens, including neighborhoods such as Rockaway, Howard Beach, Middle Village, and Glendale. He says changing demographics make recruitment harder than years past. We're getting people from very diverse areas. Uh, we don't even know if they're Catholic, and it's been a little tough getting them to come into tonight's Columbus or even find out what we do. A problem that doesn't just plague Brooklyn and Queens. The median age for New York State going into this year was about 67. Um, and the median age for a new member was about 48. New York State's leader Kenneth Latham says the state loses nearly 1,000 members a year, mainly due to death. Tonight, Knights remember some of their brothers at Holy Trinity Church in Whitestone. Brooklyn Auxiliary Bishop Paul Sanchez presides at the Memorial Mass, where they read the names of members who have returned to the Lord. Vincent, Carlos, Luigi, Monero. They've all kind of helped set the path for us that we walk on today. Um, so they are, they are brothers, and uh, they did good work before our time, and now we're trying to keep following up in that same regard. Knights hope one way to create a new path is through online registration. Since launching the initiative last month, nearly 50 members have joined in the Empire State. We feel that this is going to be a, a big boon for New York State and for the order in general. With new ways of recruiting, current Knights hope they can continue to grow the muscle of the right arm of the Catholic Church. In Queens, Tim Harfman, Currents News.